What we see, Kit, is turmoil out of China, U.S. Do you just assume lower yields? Uh, yes, I think we'll get lower yields for this week. Look, we started off with um, that nothing very threatening on the wage side, really, in the United States. Fantastic productivity numbers in the States last week, which meant unit labor costs are very low. Uh, we've got this pattern. The Reserve Bank of Australia right. may, may, may ease tonight, but only because inflation's so low. So, yeah, so we had low inflation, and now we've got uncertainty and higher volatility. I would bonds, bonds are fine. I would suggest that SockGen has really gotten this call right. Tell me about the X axis. Not only do we have low yields, but everyone would say through the year, persistently low yields. What is the effect of chronic low yields on your foreign exchange market? Um, it's a volatility killer. It forces investors, people who want to buy things in the low-yield environment, they seek yield. But we were talking, I was talking about it with Guy. They seek yield, but because we've got slowing global growth and trade uncertainty, they, they don't want the really dangerous stuff. So people are trying to find um, safe risk or safe high yield or, you know, emerging markets that are posh. And, and, and it's a... It's kind of a it's kind of a fine-tuned thing. And I think that's why in, in the foreign exchange market the Chinese yuan becomes incredibly important. Um, Chinese bonds have been in, you know, with as a currency play and a, a small yield play, have been incredibly popular this year. And and if if we shake that up, one of the few strong performing trades of of, of twenty nineteen is gonna start falling apart. Um, final quick question on the Fed. If the if the trade deal does go south, would the Fed cut? Only if they see economic data right. following it in, in pretty smart order. I mean, in other words, the, 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 the Fed's bias is to be patient. They, yeah, yeah. they tell He's us a lot. Us that time and time and, again. And yep. So in uncertainties, yeah, this is another reason to be patient. But if the equity market goes south, if, if, the, you know, if the economic data turn lower, I, I, yeah, then I think that, that the people saying there's no chance they cut, we'll, we'll all kind of start looking at it pretty fast because the, the, the lack of inflation and the Fed's clear puzzlement about the, the lack of inflation gives them a, it definitely gives them a policy bias to say, all right, if we're not going to hike unless inflation overshoots, <clears throat> if we right. get a reason to cut, we should get on with it. And so at the moment, though, again, you know, remember, I mean, the peril numbers yeah. were only 72 hours ago.